today we're making pecan pie. We're making thankful pie. Thankful pies. Did you know that Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday in the entire year? No. Yes, I think it's just so wonderful to be able to have a whole day dedicated to being thankful and grateful for our lives and just everything that we get to do, like baking, mm -hmm. right? Like a dance party day. Like a dance party. <laughs> do you want to walk our bakers through the list of ingredients we have here? Uh-huh. some cinnamon and salt in there. Melted butter. And then we have some water and also flour. some flour with a pinch of salt. So we gotta make the pie crust and then we have to make the filling. So first things first, we gotta make the pie crust because it has to chill for a little bit. Mm -hmm. So in this bowl, we have all purpose flour and a pinch of salt, which is very important. We, again, with the salt, we always wanna balance. So I'm gonna put on my gloves. You can put on your gloves. You don't have to have gloves, guys. We like gloves because it's easy cleanup. But if you don't have them, just use your hands. Just use your good old fashioned clean hands. Best kitchen tools. Yeah, I love getting messy. You also can make this in a food processor. Um, it will probably be a lot easier, but the truth is I hate cleaning my food processor. So we're gonna skip that part. This butter and shortening is um, cold. We also have some cold water, which I also had in the fridge. Start off by putting our shortening and our butter into our flour. What you want to do is work it in. You want to get everything incorporated, but only to the size of small peas. You don't want it to be any smaller than that because again, we want this to be a flaky pastry um, pie crust and we don't want the butter completely incorporated because then it won't have the flaky layers. <laughs> and you want to work quickly here, guys, um, because you, again, you don't, you want the butter to remain cold. All your ingredients need to remain cold. The fork pretty much does the job of a pastry cutter. Um, I'm not huge on a bunch of kitchen tools, guys. Just use what you have on hand. So you see, now we have nice nuggety pieces of butter and shortening, but they are very visible. They're not completely incorporated. So, so what you're gonna do is put a little bit of this cold water in at a time, okay? Pour, perfect. And we're gonna keep pouring the ice cold water until the dough starts to come together. So you see how this is starting to form? Mm -hmm. That is exactly what we're looking for. So I took my gloves off the, because the hard part is done. Then I'm gonna grab some plastic wrap and we're gonna put this on our work surface here. So you can see some of it is still crumbly. So what we wanna do is continue to kind of work this in, bringing it all together. You can use the um, plastic wrap to help. But isn't that cool? You see how there's still big chunks of butter all throughout? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what we want because that means that our pastry is going to be nice and flaky and delicious. We just want to form this kind of into a disc. We're going to wrap it just like that. Perfect. And then this is gonna go in the fridge for about an hour because we gotta let everything rest and um, let the butter, because we were working with it, we want the butter to get a little bit more firm again, okay? One hour later. <laughs> so this is in the fridge for an hour. It's nice and firm now, you see? And you see all those beautiful buttery pieces in there? Mm -hmm. That's so nice. This is what's gonna give our pastry nice and flaky. So what we're gonna do is lightly flour our work surface. We're gonna take our disc and 
we're going to roll it out. And remember guys, we wanna keep this moving. We don't want anything to stick. If it starts to fall apart, that's totally fine. Just push it back together, keep moving it. We're gonna keep rolling this out until it's about nine, a little bigger than nine inches because that's what our pan is. Then we're gonna take this and roll it very gently. We don't wanna break our crust. And then we're gonna roll this out. Perfect. Now, with the pie crust, you don't wanna stretch it because if you stretch it, it's just gonna stretch back to right where it was. What you wanna do is like lift it and help it go inside. You see, just like that. So you see how you're allowing it to naturally fall into the, um, into the pie dish? Perfect, you're doing a great job. So what I'm gonna do is fold over all the edges. Do you wanna help me? You're gonna take, look, you're gonna take just like that and fold it kind of backwards so that we're creating a lip. All right, so once all of our edges are nice and folded over, we can add a little bit of crimp to it. So what you're gonna do is take your two fingers and kind of Put them like that, you see? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna keep moving all the way around so that we create a nice little border. Yep, there you go. Cause you see how now you created a little curl? There you go. Look at that, look at your cribs. How cool is that? Wow. What we're going to do is duck our pastry. Now, what does that mean? If we were to put this in the oven the way that it is, because it has so much butter and flaky layers, it would just rise and create a big dome in the middle. We don't want that, right? We want a nice flat pie crust. So what you're gonna do is take a fork and do little pricks all over the bottom. Just like that. You wanna give it a go? You wanna be even about it. Get some over here. There you go, get some over here. Now that we've finished docking this, we're actually gonna put this in the fridge to chill for a little bit while we make our filling. Sounds good? Uh-huh. Okay. Put it in the freeze, freeze, go We're gonna start by cracking some eggs. Good job. Okay, we got one egg. And three. and we're gonna start to whisk them, okay? Mm -hmm. The trick here, guys, is to get some air incorporated into your eggs. I know a lot of recipes you will read online does not tell you this, but it does make a difference. And I know when you say the secret ingredient is air, trust me, it is air. You need to incorporate air into your eggs to help kind of give it that um, really frothy texture. Whisk this up. <laughs> so that we get a good amount of air in there. Yes, there is a lot for me. Yes, I'm doing all the hard work over here. I'm letting it get back. <laughs> Starting to get frothy here. And bubbly. And bubbly. That's all the air that's getting in there. All right, so into our air-filled eggs, we are going to pretty much add everything else except for our pecans. So, in with our brown sugar. Perfect. In with our butter. Perfect. Okay, then we have our vanilla extract cinnamon salt mixture. And last, but certainly not least, our corn syrup. You can also use dark corn syrup for this, guys. Um, I'm not a huge fan. Once all of your ingredients are in, we are gonna take our trusty whisk again and stir, stir, stir. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm not turkey. <laughs> I'm making a turkey. And more we'll probably, I'm gonna make it a lot. You're gonna make it a live turkey? A live <laughs> Your turkey is also a chicken. 
Stir, stir, elbow grease, elbow grease. <laughs> there you go, I knew those muscles were in there somewhere. Now, what we are going to do is grab our pie crust from the fridge. We have a mix here. We have chopped pecans and we also have some whole pecans. The whole pecans are for us to be able to decorate with, but Chopped are going in. And next goes in our custard. So I'm gonna give this one last crazy whisk. Go for it. Yeah! How delicious. Okay, then we're just gonna take a few, just a few, and we're gonna place them around. You know who really loves pecan pie? Baba. Oh, for sure. Yeah, every oh, year I make it for him. Let's make this Very nice, thank you. Hot breath always makes our <laughs> treats extra delicious. This is going to go into a 350 degree oven for about 50 to 55 minutes. I always put a tray under my pecan pie because I am afraid that bubblage is going to happen. So I would advise you to do that, but um, you don't have to. Now we wait. The pie is ready to come out now. One hour later. <laughs> nuttiness um while it was baking guys i forgot to mention to you if you feel that your crust is becoming too browned um you could just take an aluminum foil and kind of like tent it around it listen to this crunch this this you ready oh you hear the crunch oh god this is going to be a real slice and I want to try that crust over there. Oh yeah, me too. Oh gosh, this looks so good. Look at that. Oh, it smells like ginger. It does a little bit, right? But that's because of the cinnamon that we put in there. What do you think? Should we try a little bit? Mm -hmm. I really want to try this crust. Look here, look, there's a piece of crust right there. Cheers. Mmm, I'm mm. so warm. Hold on. That's good, huh? Sticky, 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 sticky. She is just so curious. Here, what do you think? Should we give her a little bit of the crust? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think she likes it. What do you think? Like in our last video, right? 
where she was just like, hmm, what are your, some of your favorite things that you like to do with your sister? Make obstacle courses and then we like um, do it together. That's really fun. Yeah, she does love to get into trouble. So obstacle oh, courses, yes. I can see how that would be a good plan. One of the things that I'm most thankful for is my family, but most importantly, following my dreams. And this vision of baking with Dia came to me in a dream. And you and I have been baking since you were a little, little girl, like two years old. And it makes me so happy that every Thursday we get to show our viewers how much fun we have in the kitchen baking together, right? Mm -hmm. Well, from our family to yours, we wish you guys a very happy, happy, yes. happy, And don't forget to check out Instagram. Yummy thumbs up. Till next time, makers. Ciao for now.